Chronic fatigue syndrome. How much does gut bacteria actually affect the symptoms of chronic fatigue, or potentially could gut bacteria maybe be a mitigating factor in the cause of chronic fatigue syndrome itself? Researchers want to look at that one particular question. What gave them clues in regard to bacteria or gut bacteria partially even being responsible or affected in some way by having chronic fatigue is as follows. In the title of the research, chronic fatigue syndrome is in your gut, not your head. Keep in mind the researchers gave it that title for a reason. You'll understand a little more why they gave it that title as we move forward. In the citation title, reduced diversity and altered composition of the gut microbiome in individuals with myologic and cephalomyelitis, otherwise known as chronic fatigue syndrome, published in Microbiome this 2016. Now, for the first time, Cornell University researchers reported they have identified biological markers of the disease in gut bacteria and inflammatory microbial agents in the blood. Reason being was as follows, and this was the one clue that the researchers want, really wanted to hone in on. Many ME CFS patients, chronic fatigue patients, reported gastrointestinal symptoms, including but not limited to irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, I should say syndrome, yeah. Intestinal discomfort was also indicated in the survey of the drugs being used by chronic fatigue individuals. And additionally, significantly more antiacids, H2 blockers, and protein pump inhibitors. This is the one line you've got to take home because this says it all. So after they looked at all this, they wanted to examine the bacteria of individuals with chronic fatigue syndrome to see what made their bacteria, if there was, a difference compared to healthy controls. This is what they discovered about the bacteria of individuals with chronic fatigue syndrome. This one line is very important. Overall, the diversity of types of bacteria was greatly reduced and there were fewer bacterial species known to be anti-inflammatory in chronic fatigue syndrome patients compared with healthy people. An observation also seen in people with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. At the same time, the researchers discovered specific markers of inflammation in the blood likely due to a leaky gut from intestinal problems that allow bacteria to enter the blood. Bacteria in the blood will trigger an immune response which can also worsen the symptoms. So two things. One is the bacteria that helps control inflammation is greatly reduced. Two, leaky gut which is allowing things to enter the blood that shouldn't be which also compounding that inflammation. There is your, bio, your biological marker that basically stands out in regard to individual to chronic fatigue syndrome. Also, as we move forward, furthermore, our detection of biological abnormality provides further evidence that the ridiculous concept that this disease is psychological in origin, meaning it is not the researcher saying, yes, pain and inflammation may not exactly be great for your outlook during the day, but chronic fatigue syndrome's origin, they are debunking as being psychological in its place. To proceed forward, how did they discover that bacteria basically played a role in chronic fatigue syndrome at all? They looked at two preliminary studies, and the reason I bring up these two studies is because they may be helpful to individuals out there that you may know that has chronic fatigue syndrome, or if it's not yourself. So let me begin. The history. Two studies they looked at. Effect of supplements with lactic acid producing bacteria on fatigue and physical activity in patients with chronic fatigue syndrome that was published in 2008. They went into the research of what they used to do in 1923. Better yet, let me just read from the research. A gelatin whey formula with live lactic acid bacteria improved depressive symptoms in adults with melancholia. In a series of case reports, several researchers concluded in 1923 that the administration of acidophilus milk was recommended in the treatment of psychosis as a means to physical betterment. They knew there was a bacteria connection there as far back as 1920. Now what happened between then and today? Something got lost in translation. Second, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled pilot study of, probiotic, of a probiotic and emotional symptoms of chronic fatigue syndrome. Both studies showed benefit. Both studies had the best success with lactic acid producing probiotics both had similar conclusions, that there was a significant decrease in anxiety symptoms among those taking probiotics versus controls. The results lend further to support the presence of gut-brain interface, one that may be mediated by microbes that reside or pass through the intestinal tract. Again, the bacteria or the probiotic that seem to yield the greatest results in these pilot studies 
were lactic acid producing probiotics. Again, fascinating research on the gut brain connection, especially in regard to chronic fatigue. Very good pilot studies. Where it goes from here, who knows? But I hope that at least you find it some useful information. This is Ralph Turchiano signing off once again, and I really hope to see you all again next week. Thank you very much, as always.